Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to your first asynchronous class. Um, for this session, we're going to uh, study the topic of reading strategies. And to begin, I want you to think uh, of a party. And what do most people do when meeting someone for the first time? Um, you look around, uh, approach someone based on how friendly they look, if they smile at you, uh, or if they are drinking something similar you're drinking, uh, or maybe there's a group of people dancing and you approach them and you start socializing with them. Uh, so. Uh, at the beginning, what we do is just to, we create a big picture by observing. So we look at them and we just uh, come up with ideas. And then you say, ah, maybe I can be a friend with this person. Or maybe I can start a conversation with this person. So, you know, that's something similar in the process of reading. When you have a text, you look at it. You first look at the cover if there's a picture uh, in the cover you look at it um, you try to get just an idea of what the reading is about and this comes to one of the first strategies we're going to study it's previewing so when we preview a text uh, we first go through the title and the author's details um, we read a little bit of the biography of the writer, um, then we move to the abstract, uh, we just see if there's a preface or somebody else has written something about the book, uh, you read the headings, titles, or any highlighted text, you also look for the illustrations, um, graphs, any kind of picture, uh, and then the last um, action that we do when we are previewing a text is to read the first sentence in each paragraph. So this is basically what we do um, when we first get that book or have that book in our hands. Um, so now I would like you to stop the video and take a look at the article journal on medical schools and microaggressions. Try to apply those previewing strategies to that uh, article, okay? Great. So, now, after you have briefly seen the paper, try to answer these questions. Uh, focus on the title of the paper, uh, who the authors are, if there's a summary or an abstract about the paper, um, what else does it show in the first page? Uh, can you notice any headings, subheadings, any highlighted text? Can you see any, any illustrations? Okay, great. Now that you have done that exercise, uh, again, take your time. If you don't remember much about what you saw in the paper, so take these questions and read the paper again. But just, you know, you're previewing. You're not actually doing a deep reading. Great. Um, the second uh, strategy that we implement when we are doing uh, scheming, when we are doing uh, some reading, is scheming. So what does scheming involve? Well, skimming is just, you know, running your eyes very quickly over chunks of the text. So you quickly go and um, get just uh, more details about the big picture that you got in your previewing. Uh, the steps, yes. So the steps, first you look if there's any bold text and graphics. Now you start beginning the text uh, and glide your eyes over the text quickly, very quickly. Uh, you read the first and last sentences of the paragraph. Uh, so now you're into the paragraph. 
in the previewing you were just focusing on headings subheadings uh, any bolded text uh, it is very important that uh, you familiarize with the text so in the skimming you're familiarizing okay and um, you're trying to get more information uh, from what you got in the previewing strategy okay so uh, now yes uh, again another step uh, stop the video go back to your uh, academic journal about medical school and microaggressions and uh, try to apply the scheming strategies that I previously mentioned and get some information okay now that you have um sorry for this i have to be moving myself here okay now that you have uh, skimmed the article uh, i wanted to identify where a paragraph begins and when it ends just focus on that okay where it ends where it uh, where it begins and where it ends um and can you tell me more ideas about the topic the article will develop what are they going to be doing in the article what, what will be the topic uh, that they were gonna be developing more ideas later okay so take your time stop the video and focus on these two uh, questions um, next is scanning you see this guy he's scanning and what scanning involves is that you sweep in your eyes like a radar over a part of the text to find specific pieces of information. Now we're doing specific pieces of information. In skimming, we were just trying to get an idea of what the reading was going to be about. So look at here. Uh, you can use your fingers. Sometimes uh, the text is too, um, there's very uh, tiny text, tiny letters, that is impossible to roll your fingers over it. But what you can do is that you take a highlighter and with that you start um, uh, selecting the most important information. Um, when you find that information, you have to stop reading. So there's something specific. Imagine uh, you are being asked to look for a specific date, a specific name, a specific last name. So when you find it, just stop it. Okay? And what you're going to do is that you slow down to read the relevant information around that piece of information that you have been asked to scan. Um, so, you know, scanning is you look for details. You are paying more attention. Okay? Um, allow me some time to move this. Not, okay, yes, this is what I wanted. Let's go back to our microaggressions article and uh, try to answer these questions. What is a microaggression? When do microaggressions occur? What are some examples of microaggressions? Oh, I forgot the question mark, okay, but there's a question mark there. How do minorities feel when they are subjects of microaggressions? Where has been research most of the time focused? Look at these questions. They are very, very specific. You are looking for this specific type of information. Okay. So as you can see, previewing, just, you know, going uh, quickly through the book, the author, a biography, or what others have written about um, this uh, book. Uh, in skimming, yeah, you're going looking for the first sentence of the paragraph in the last sentence uh, in the previous exercise about scheming you were looking for where the where a sentence began and where it ended but now in the scanning it's more specific you are trying to make sense of the paper so in here you will get more information about microaggressions when do they occur which groups are more targeted sometimes um, so these are the first three strategies that we're going to be uh, studying for this uh, portion of the class. And uh, yes, if you have questions, 
uh, I have already shared my contact uh, details so write me an email uh, leave something in the chat I will try to be to be back to you as soon as I can so thank you for listening listening to me